Okay, so why don't you guys open up your heating system chart to see the systems for electric, gas, and solar. Okay, so we know the formula Y equals MX plus B, where Y is your output, and um, your output Y depends on your input X. And then we also know M is the slope, and B is your y-intercept, but in this case, um, when we apply it to a problem, we're going to consider it our initial value. So if you have all your uh, charts open, go ahead and we'll continue. Otherwise, pause the video until you get it open, because we're going to be moving on to that. So I'm going to erase this. That's just review. Um, but we're still going to use this formula. The only thing is now we're applying it to a problem. So our Y is going to represent the total cost of the whole system. Um, that would be insula installation cost plus the operation cost per year for how many years that you've used the system. So instead of using Y, because it's a pretty arbitrary variable, let's just use um, something that represents the cost. So we'll use C. And then our x value is going to be the amount of time in years that we've used the system. So we can still have m for slope. Um, usually when we represent time, we represent it by t or n. So let's just represent it by t. So mt plus our initial value. Let's just still leave that b. So this is our new equation, and we can write C, the function C is a, a function of time. So it's the cost, and it's dependent on time. So we can write it C of T. So this formula represents the cost, which is dependent on time, and it's the total cost, dependent on, let's say you have um, zero, years. You just bought the system electric. So at zero years, it's not going to matter how uh, the slope, but B is your initial value, so that's $5,000. So after zero years, it costs $5,000. Let's see what happens when we do more amounts of time, but let's first create the formulas for the equations. So based off of this formula, we're going to look at the gas system. Or let's start with electric, since that's the first one on the chart. Okay, so what we need to know about the system is the initial cost and the operation cost per year in order to get the formula. So our initial cost is that's our B in our formula. Um, for electric, the initial cost is $5,000. And then we need to know the slope, which in this case is our operation cost per year. So I'm just going to put operation cost per year is equal to M. And according to your chart, that's $1,100. So now we have the two variables that we need. So now we can write an equation for the cost of, let's go C sub E for electric. So cost for electric, dependent on time, is going to be your slope, 1,100 times time, plus your initial value, which is 5,000. So make sure you write that in your notes because we're going to be using that formula later to complete one of the tables that I gave you. So now let's move on to, I'm just going to erase these values. 
We're gonna move on to the gas system. So let's see if you guys can fill that in yourself. You can pause the video and then check your answers against mine. Because I'm gonna start doing it right now. So for gas, the initial cost B is $12,000. The operation cost per year is $700. So our formula for gas, let's do C sub G of T, is equal to 700, that's the slope, times time, plus your initial value, 12,000. So get that in your books, and then now we're going to go to solar. And again, you can pause the video and do solar for yourself, and then check your answers against mine. So for solar, the installation cost is uh, $30,000. And the operation cost per year, which is the slope, is only $150. So our cost for solar, based on time, is going to be 150, the slope, times time, plus your initial cost of $30,000. And we don't have to write the dollar signs because we know that um, our output is going to be a cost in dollars. So when we write our formulas, we don't need the dollar signs. Okay, so now we have our formulas. You have them written down. I'm not going to write them all down again. I have limited space. So now we need to complete a table that you guys have. Um, it's the heating system table that I provided you. So go ahead and take that out. Pause the video if you need to. I'm actually going to draw part of the table on here. I'm only going to work you through part of it. And then the rest is going to be homework. So we have your variable n. Sorry, on, on your table, um, you have the variable n. We use t. So I'm going to draw it out as t for time. But you're going to fill it out in the column uh, labeled n. And then we have cost of electric, cost of gas and cost of solar. Okay. So let's fill this in. I'm going to fill it in in blue for all the information. We have time 0, 1, or 10. It's after 10 years. And that's all I'm going to do for you guys right now. Um, the rest from 20 to 50 is going to be for you guys to do for homework. So we know that the cost of electric at time zero, using your formula, is going to be um, the initial cost. Because when you plug in zero for slope into your formula, I'm actually going to write out the formula for you down here. Um, cost of electric was 1,100T plus 5,000. Just so you guys can see what I'm doing. So when you plug in 0 for T, you get 1,100 times 0 plus 5,000. So whatever is attached to this T is always going to get canceled out. So you're only left with your initial cost. So for T equals zero, all you're filling in is the initial values. So you're going to have 5,000 for your cost of electric. And then for your initial cost for gas, it was 12,000. 
and solar was 30,000. Now let's look at after 10 years. So what you do is you go cost of electric after 10 years. This is actually your normal formula. Cost of electric after 10 years is going to be 1,100 times 10 plus 5,000. 1,100 times 10 is 11,000 and then we still have that plus 5,000. 11,000 plus 5,000 is 16,000. So that's our total cost for the electric system after 10 years. Okay, now let's look at gas. So our cost of gas for time is going to be 700 times time plus our initial cost of 12,000. So after 10 years, we get 700 times 10 is 7,000 plus that $12,000 initial cost. 7,000 plus 12,000 is 19,000. And lastly, let's look at the solar system. Solar power system. Um, based on time, it is gonna be $150 per year plus your initial cost of $30,000. So after 10 years, you have $150 per year for 10 years. So 150 times 10 is 1,500. And then we have plus that 30,000. That gives us 31,500 for a total cost after 10 years. So what I want you guys to do is fill out that table for the rest for um, 30 through 50, or 20 through 50, 20 years through 50 years, and fill out the whole table. And then on the side, over on this side, or down below, I'll write it down below, I want you guys to tell me at what point um, the uh, which point the systems change from one being the most expensive to the other being the most expensive. So basically, at this point, um, at t equals zero, what we have is the cost of electric is less than the cost of gas, and the cost of gas is less than the cost of solar. And then at t equals 10 in years, we still have the cost of electric is less than the cost of gas, which is less than the cost of solar. At some point further on, at t equals some amount, you're going to find that it's going to change. The cost of gas may be less than the cost of electric, and solar might still be the most expensive. And what you're going to see later is that when t gets very big, the cost of solar is going to be the cheapest that you can do because, as we saw, it only goes up by $150 per year. Even though it has the biggest initial value, its slope is very small. So, at one point, when T is very large, you're going to get the cost of solar is less than the other two. So you'll see that, and I want you guys to write that in your journal. Okay, so what if we want to find the point at which uh, electric and gas have the same cost? So what we need to do, um, you guys can look at the graph that I gave you. 
open up the graph for the cost of heating systems. Again, you can pause the video if you need time to get it out. So the co uh, using the graph, we can estimate the point where the lines intersect, and that's the solution to the system. So let's look at where cost of electric intersects the cost of the gas system. And this is total cost. So looking at the graph, which I don't have in front of me, but you have it in front of you, um, I believe if you look at the intersection between um, electric, which was in blue, and gas, which is in red, it looks like it intersects a little bit after 15 on the x-axis, which is time. So let's go with, let's say, uh, 17. So it looks like our x is 17. And our y, or um, we're using t. t is 17. And c, the cost, which is your y-intercept, looks like it's about 22. And if you notice on the graph, it says in thousands. So that's $22,000. And that's 17 years. So I'm going to erase this. You should have that down and um, finish your charts now before we move on. So you can pause the video and finish them. So let me rewrite this. Our estimate is 17, 22,000. This is our estimate for the solution to the system where CE equals CG, cost of electric equals total cost of gas. So how do you think that we can check this? Um, well, first of all, this means that after about 17 years, the cost of electric, the total cost of electric system and the total cost of the gas system is going to be about the same at $22,000. So now I want you guys to do that same thing for when the cost of electric equals the cost of solar and when the cost of gas equals the cost of solar. So pause the video and do that because we're going to move on and I'm going to use the same example and find the exact solution for the system. So this is our estimate. How do we find the exact solution? So in order to do that, we need to find that um, the system, the solution to the system where the two lines intersect. And where they intersect, that's going to be the solution. So in order to do that, we need to set the two equations equal to each other. So we need to, like we did up here, we need to set the cost of electric equal to the cost of gas. So our, um, our equation for electric was $1,100 per year plus the initial value of $5,000. And the cost of gas was $700 per year plus an initial cost of $12,000. So we know that we can work with equations by elimination. We've done this before uh, when we've used linear equations. So we want to get t by itself. So first, let's subtract either the 5,000 or the 12,000. 5,000 is smaller. It's going to be easier to subtract. So we're going to subtract it from each side. That's going to cancel out, and we're going to get $1,100 per year equals $700 per year plus $7,000. So let's subtract 7, or sorry. Let's subtract 700t from both sides. And that leaves us with 600t equals 7,000. Dividing by 600 on both sides gives us t equals 17.5.
So pause the video if you need to and write all that down. I'm going to keep that, t I'm going to write the t value up here. So we got t equals 17.5. So what do you guys think that means? Go ahead and write that down. I'm going to explain it right now. So what t means when you find the solution to the system of linear equations, this is the actual value. Our estimate was 17, but the actual value is 17 and a half years. So after 17 and a half years, the cost of electric is going to equal the cost of gas. But what is that value? We estimated that it's $22,000. Let's see what it actually is. You can plug that value in for t for either of these equations, because what it means is that these equations will be equal after 17 and a half years. So let's plug it into the cost of electric, which was $1,100 times T, which is the 17.5, plus an initial value of 5,000. And what we get is going to be $24,000 and two, sorry, $24,250 which is pretty close to our estimate. So our 17.5 was closer, but that half a year makes a lot of difference. So the exact solution is 17.5 comma $24,250. And you guys can check that, and I want you to, by plugging in 17.5 for the cost of gas as well, and you'll see that you'll get that same value. So I want you guys to find the exact solution for, the, for when the cost of gas is equal to the cost of solar and when the cost of electric is equal to the cost of solar. That'll be your homework. And then I want you guys to answer this question, so go ahead and write it down on the next page of your notebook. And for now, leave it blank until you finish all the rest of the homework. But the question is, if the cost were the only issue, how would you decide which system to use? Again, if the cost were the only issue, how would you decide which system to use? And to answer this, you're going to have to find the exact intersection points, or the exact solution to the system for the other two systems being set equal to each other. We've already found this, so this is one important thing. And we know that that means after 17 and a half years, those two costs are going to be the same. But as I showed you before where we looked at when cost of electric is less than cost of gas, less than cost of solar, you're going to see when they switch around, and that's going to help you answer that question as well. But the exact solutions are going to be the biggest um, determining factor in which system you would like to buy. It all depends on how many years you plan to have the system and you'll see that. So that's it for this part of the lecture and when you finish with this um, part of it go ahead and start the next video and you can we'll be moving on to, uh, to solving other linear systems by different methods.